This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we got a hell of a show lined up for you today. Actually, I don't know how this is going to go. We got some, we have some new factors in the studio. We'll get to them in a second. First of all, from the iPhoneography podcast, it is Dave Podner. Hey Zorg, thanks for having me on. Welcome back. Welcome back. You have applause. I, I, in the I, I'm the meld. I'm the meld of Chilla and Dutters. The meld. Today. Oh, okay. You're the. <laughs> You're you're the Chudders. No, no, that's probably Chudders. Means, there we go. I'm. Chudders. I don't know if that's a word we can use. I have to look that up in Urban Dictionary to be be sure. So we have special guests in the studio. I work with these guys on a monthly basis on the uh, SAE CDS Action News. So uh, they've been doing so great on camera. I thought it'd be fun to, for them to see how I do other productions when I'm not directing them. So first of all, we do have with us. Uh, from uh, from from SAE, uh, Scott Schultz is with us. Hey guys, how are you uh, doing? He is the, the the superstar Scott Schultz. I'm actually as not with SAE anymore. <laughs> what? Not? We'll see after this show. I work uh, I work down the street at uh, Dairy Queen. What? The hell? <laughs> and then and then your your partner in crime, Mike. I don't know your last name. That's a little You're just Mike on the show. Can I just say something? Yeah, a little what? disrespectful. I okay, come wait, wait, wait. I come pull, here. Pull that mic a little closer to you. I, okay, I said it's a little disrespectful, Mike. What? What? You what? what? That mic, dude. You're just Scott and Mike. On that mic. You're just Scott and Mike. We never put your last name on. It's, it starts with an I. I like to be. Uh, what's the word, Scott? When you don't want uh, incognito. 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 Okay. Like yeah. Mike Incognito is his name. That's okay. It. <laughs> That's it. Well, welcome to the show, guys. Hey, Thank thanks you. for having us. Um, uh, Scott, for those that don't know, what is what is this project that we work on together? Uh, Dairy Queen? No, we... no, 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 no. The news program. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's a little little program we do at, over at SAE for college kids uh, where me and Mike in, Incognito... Uh, Try to go viral worldwide and inform them about all the magic that we do That's over right. at SAE. Tune in once a week for all and any once SAE a month. Inf- once a, a month. month for all and any SAE information. Or you can just watch it like once a week. That's fine too. Right? You can watch it all day, every day. It's all day, that good. Day. It's all day, every day. All the good stuff gets cut out, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, there is a review process, and there uh, they are yeah, there yeah. on the latest I f- episode. I fight, I fight for all the good jokes, though. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yes, you do. <laughs> That's why I now work at Dairy Queen. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Can a I... fun project that we we've been able to work on, and 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 it's been noticed. And Scott gets recognized. Mm-hmm. We'll talk a little bit more about this later in the show. Well, but when th- you can make a blizzard like that, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the awesome cast check out everything at awesomecast.com you can hit us up uh, awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com is the email at awesomecast on the twitter and we're streaming live every Tuesday on the awesomecast facebook page the youtube and over on the sorgatron media twitch page I forgot to switch the shot um, I'm not used to people being in the studio we don't get them too often anymore um, anyways yes, yeah, so, yeah, here we go <laughs> and also uh, we have some great discussions on the facebook group and the discord and reddit we have as well and uh, you can subscribe to us on your favorite podcast players and we're here live every tuesday at 7 p.m eastern time on all those platforms and a shout out to our friends at postandjoshua.com for sharing the show and as we have been doing for the last several weeks that we've been taking our patreon supporters and and putting their names into the the uh, chat gpt ai program and uh i've been watching a lot of night courts so this is your weekly um, Patreon story, <laughs> but so here we go. So I asked it to do a treatment of Night Court with the names of our Patreon supporters, and this is what we got this week. Brian Crawford is the young new judge who takes over the Night Court, eager to make his mark. He's a tech savvy rule follower. <clears throat> tech savvy in there, that's interesting. But quickly learns that the Night Night Court operates differently than any other court in the city. Matt Weller is the court clerk who's been working at the court night court for years he's seen it all and has a bit of a jade he's a bit of a jaded but he's uh wait is that 
Oh, that's that's the first uh, grammar issue I've seen in chat. <laughs> He's still a reliable resource for judges and defendants who come through the door. Cynthia Klosky is the public defender <laughs> who's just starting out in the, in her career. She's idealistic and believes in giving everyone a fair shot, but quickly realizes the night court isn't always a fair place. Mike Pound is the bailiff who keeps the courtroom running smoothly, but he also has a wild side that often leads to hijinks in and out of the courtroom. And Mike Fedor is the prosecutor who takes on his job very seriously. A lot of people take their job seriously in this, but he's not about bending the rules and get the convic convictions he wants. And <laughs> Professor Buzzkill is a professor of criminal justice who moonlights as a, he always gets the, the, the stick. The, he's usually, he's usually the curmudgeon guy in the corner when we do these stories. A moonlights as a judge in the night court. He's a stickler for the rules, but also a quirky sense of humor that often surprises the other characters. I think we have one more character than Night Court has, so it had to make some stuff up. Uh, but that is our chat GPT story of the week. You guys can be part of the story too at patreon.com slash awesomecast. And thank you everybody that does support the show. So let's yeah, get Sork, in. Yes. Sork, real quick. How close is uh, Cynthia Klotsky to Marky Post? To Marky Post? Oh, I think she'd be wow. I get, you know what? I think Marky Post could play Cynthia Klotsky in the movie. Ooh. About her life, I think that's very close. That's right. Well, it's been a while since she's been. She's been I, I know you. You've seen her on the show before, right? So, um, but I'm yeah, trying to remember, possibly, but it's been a while. It's like been a said. while. It's definitely been a while. Like one of the yeah. Christmas episodes. Um, and and Mike, I can see Mike as the bailiff. I can definitely see my uncle Crappy as the as the bailiff. Mm -hmm. bailiff. So, so let's get into our awesome things of the week. Uh, let's start with you, Dave Partner. Okay, so this is something I happened upon uh, by scrolling TikTok, okay. and the the what they showed was kind of the ending, and this is something which I think it, it opened last year, or I think last year, year before, up in Vancouver in Canada, eh? and this to me is beautiful. It, it, it first of all, it looks fake. It okay, looks well, like something out of a video game. Okay, can you describe it for our audio listeners on the on okay. the stream? Okay, so if you've ever gone up a ramp at a stadium mm -hmm. where it's a, it's kind of a large spiral, that's kind of what it is, but it's in the middle of a forest. Mm -hmm. Overlooking and overlooking it, a lake, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, overlooking this amazing wilderness area. Do we know where Lake uh, is? It's somewhere up in Vancouver, and I don't know what mm. it is. Ooh, lake Vancouver, um, beautiful. But it is 10 stories high. So it's exceptionally, you know, it, it's much taller than what you would expect. Mm -hmm. And it's, they, they do what the native um, indigenous tribes in the area are part of it. So it's kind of nature preserve, nature overlook, you know, and it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful because it's made out of wood. So it isn't, mm -hmm. there is metal scaffolding, but the outside is the metal, is just this beautiful wood that kind of matches in there. And the other thing that catches your eye is in the middle, there is a steel frame with staircases. So you could staircase up. You can use the ramp, which goes up. But if you want to go down, uh, there is a slide. Wait, the slide goes, the the slide goes the whole thing? Nice. The whole wow. way down. It's, it's a 15-second ride. It's a 10 story slide that you just wow. kind of sit on and you just slide all the way down on this rug looking thing. Oh, Sounds wow. Awesome. Oh. Can I say something about slides before you continue, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a big hill in my backyard and I wanted to build a slide for it. So I contact a slide company and it's <laughs> an average of $30,000 <laughs> for a slide. What? So, long story short, I'm not getting a slide in my backyard. How big was the slide? <laughs> Uh, I did, they just said the average slide, and I was like, <sighs> the average slide. I cannot imagine the average slide in like a playground well, want, is thirty thousand dollars. I want like a. Oh, I'm not getting some childish slide, man. This is gonna be you a dope ass slide. A dope, a dope slide. Yes. Okay. Well, so yeah, okay. what, what, what are you? Are you? Are these the same people putting in the slides at like Sandcastle or something? I don't know. I just googled slide people. <laughs> okay. I, I can see for insurance reason they put the the That's value, true. the probably That's true. the cost of very high. I mean, this isn't like um, oh. growing up in the 80s like I did. Mm -hmm. The You know, late 70s, early 80s, where you just had these metal slides in the middle of a playground with concrete 
on a ground, no, mm -hmm. no, no soft landing stuff mm -hmm. that was hot enough to burn you as you went down. Hmm. You I, know, I, I, that's part of the experience. You were church and you liked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I liked it a little differently than you, Dave. Well, yeah, Mikey, Mikey. but yeah, they, it, there, there's it, this, this right here. I mean, I would love for something like this. It, everyone talks about in terms of like in the city to have an observation deck. Mm -hmm. yes. So you could think of something like, you know, like the, the, the arch in St. Louis uh, or like the space needle. This to me, if I admittedly, this would be very expensive and blah, 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 blah. Something on top of this, like on top of Mount Washington mm -hmm. or by the top of the Duquesne incline where you go up an extra, you know, you go up your extra 10 stories and you can see downtown, you can see up, you can see, you know, all the rivers, you can see out in Oakland easy, you can see, you know, and just in terms of the ability as a, you know, it would, it would look so amazing. And then not only do they have the slide on top, there is a netting on top, mm -hmm. a little bit of a trampolined netting that you walk on. And there's nothing underneath you for 300 feet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like how, you know, like um, in Toronto, they have, you know, uh, the needle in Toronto. And yeah. You go in, they have like glass floor on it. You yeah, I over. couldn't well, even walk up to that when I did that. But that was like 20 years ago. I, I, I kind of want to try it again. You're a man now, Mike. <laughs> I've Mike, been, you know what they I've, say, I've right? been a lot of high places. <laughs> Mike, you were watching last month's episode, right? What, 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 what is that, Mike? Scott, let's do it together. In order to be brave, what is it, Scott? You have to be scared. You have 24 hours. <laughs> you edited that. <laughs> I think I edited that 24 hours part out, didn't mm -hmm. I? <laughs> nope. No? Oh, jeez. I would have fought for it if you did. Yeah. Always. <laughs> That's one of those I thought I'd get back and review. Um, anyway... <laughs> So it's the Malhat, uh, M A L H A T, uh, Skywalk, yeah. Malhat, mm -hmm. Mal Mala, oh, no, it's A, M A L A H A T, uh, Skywalk.com. Yeah. And like I said, it, it, it's, it's just to me, it just, it's a beautiful design. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact it is, you know, accessible for anyone with mobility issues because mm. it's a ramp. Mm hmm. You know, you don't have to leave people out. The best, actually, it looks like the best part's the ramp instead of the steps they have on the inside. Mm -hmm. I don't really want, yeah. That'd if, be a if long you go on stroll. That about, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Agreed. But, yeah, if you go, like, where it's the mount, the must-do, if you go, like, where to step into the sky, you can see these kids laying down on this mesh net, and literally there's nothing underneath them mm. all the way down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Awesome. And it's nice they say sturdy net. They say mm. say they they specifically put out sturdy. Nice. I don't believe them. You don't believe. Them. <laughs> it looks like yeah. a sturdy. It looks like a sturdy construct. Yeah. I don't think this thing's, thing's going to be waving hey, too much. Looks like crazy it. Canadians. Eight. Looks like it. I think it was neat that they're offering fifty percent. Did anyone else notice that? What? You didn't see that on the screen you were showing about the uh, the attraction. The attraction. I swear it's Let's a get 50%. That screen up, 50 per, yeah, fam, it, it, that's during the uh, family day weekend. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Scott, say like Scott. For online. If you have a family, should I think Dave, you you could probably chime in. Wouldn't you think it's a great family day? You know, stroll around the uh the old curve there. What is it called again? I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> The uh the what's no, it, what the, the it skywalk here the skywalk, the skywalk. yeah, yeah. I mean, good sure. view yeah, good atmosphere good Especially family the time the family and fifty percent off what is this little Caesars over here I know uh -huh. pizza pizza <laughs> speaking of uh pizza. no 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 we're not at that part yet we're not at that part yet <laughs> no. you got you we get we have a format to this uh, so. <laughs> yeah. well, we're gonna bust it open <laughs> all right we're so like the Kool Aid Man my <laughs> awesome thing of the week oh, yeah is, uh this one's a little technical of course we use VMix we have a, a kind of a mix here between uh, Black Magic ATEMs for switching, and then uh, we use VMix for the graphics and the streaming and everything, at least in house here. And we use VMix for other graphics kind of things. Um, but I, I I needed to solve a, a quick problem, and I found a nice five dollar app that I'm hoping I'm going to be able to show you here in a second um, to remotely control. Uh, and we used it for top row tabletop the other day to remotely control my VMix. 
and um, I can't really show you the vMix because that's what we're using right now. But uh, basically through this, I can, uh, let's see, uh, here's a graphic. Oh, no, I'm not John Chichilla, but that's the graphic. That, that, but you, it is, no, I'm not Dutters. But uh, it connects through. You got a little bit of a mild, like, you know, kind of a light version of vMix going on, and you can control your graphics and everything like that. So, um, you know, so was, you know, night. I don't know if I would rely on a full, like, full-on project for this, but something in studio where I know we're going to have a li reliable Wi-Fi throughout. Um, it was a pretty, pretty cool thing. So when I'm getting messages, because I, I, I don't say it around here. I, I go, go in the back, watch them on TV, and get some work done. Um, but when they like need to go to break and and let me know, you know there's that or they need to transition to the game board or something i can go on here and just pull it up so you know like uh you know like a slice ad or something that we'll get to in a moment um so is is 4.99 the app is called the uh unofficial vmix remote so um and it functions pretty good um and even it will do uh let's see it will do the transitions and everything too so, and I'm transitioning it myself, so it's not really going to do it. Um, but yeah, so really simple, really nice, um, and uh, a nice little backup for something like that. I, I want to get this on an iPad and see how it connects, but I realize I need mm. to still put the um, the IP address on. I am still playing with. We st we talked about um, the the uh, mix effect for the ATEM uh, partner mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. I actually picked up a. Uh, I think it's coming tomorrow. A um, an Ethernet ethernet deal um so sorry somebody just parked in front of my fucking driveway hey can we not uh, bad language anyways um sorry there's so sorry so there's, they're gonna get towed because my wife is coming back to the studio shortly so oh. anyways Special um guest right anything will happen <laughs> when you're live <laughs> uh right. but anyways um <laughs> now is that is that easy to program which which is the it, the, the VMix? The, the, yeah, the VMix, yeah. So the biggest thing is uh, having to go in and get the um, IP address. Um, yeah, okay. And you have to you have to connect. I don't know. It's my internal IP. I hope that's not important. Well, I was about to say, do you, yeah, yeah, say, that's, do you really? That's internal. So oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's my outward IP address that I just showed. Um, anyways, well, yeah. Um, but, but Think to self, don't clip that. <laughs> don't 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 clip that for later. Clip um, but they also have tallies and APIs and things like that because VMix does a lot of stuff that we that we barely yeah, okay. scratch the service on. Um, but we I got an Ethernet adapter, um, so the so we can use the iPad for um, like connections like this uh, internally. And we're, we're actually rebuilding a rig, a big box for a rig um, that I got kind of laid out over here that we're going to be rolling out this week, hopefully for a couple of shows. So there's that. So. Anyway, so um, yeah, so the unofficial vMix uh, remote, go check that out. Four ninety nine. It's on iOS. I think it's iOS only from what I saw. Um, so, but a lot of these are going to be iOS only from the four ninety nine, Mike. Four ninety nine. We're not all top one percenters like oh. you are. <laughs> All right. Hey, I paid nine ninety nine for just a view screen that'll send oh. this feed hey. remotely to an iPad. We get it. You're rich. Yeah. yeah. He actually doesn't talk much about it. But he actually spent thirty grand on a slide. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All back. <laughs> wow. Uh, Scott, what is your awesome thing of the week? Is it a slide? No. Unfortunately not. I'm not you, Mike. Um, <laughs> no, I got a cool racing wheel for Gran Turismo for my PlayStation. Cool. What kind is it? It's a Logitech G29, and it's very fun, and it's hard. It's like you're actually driving a car, and it turns out I'm not great at going... 200 miles an hour to 30 to make a sharp turn, but I'm working on it. So are you are you a long-time Gran Turismo uh, 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 player? Uh, I dabbled back in the day, but then I got back on, in it for the PlayStation 5, and I'm loving it. And when I do drive with the wheel, I catch myself leaning like I'm actually driving, and it's it's fun but embarrassing. But <laughs> well, you're not know, playing in public, are you? Well, no, but like... I don't know. I don't know, Mike. <laughs> so what is it? So I see it's got the pu it's got the pedals. It's got a full on thing. I haven't used a uh, driving wheel for a while to see how those makes. Yeah, it's like I'm in the arcades. Hmm? It's like I'm in Dave and Buster's driving. It's oh, yeah? sweet. It's like you're playing the the Mario Kart game. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's cool because it's a real car. And it's like uh, yeah, it's like I I'm driving a real car racing. And you know what? I don't know. I don't know much else about it. I, you know what? Well, heck up. Uh, the gear, the right gear, 
paddle. It doesn't work all the time, so I'm currently in talks with their customer service to try to get that fixed. Are you uh, are you are you hard on it? Uh, hard on the, uh, the 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 wheel there? I'm hard on something. Oh jeez. <laughs> Oh jeez! Um, no, you can't set me up like that. So it's about a it's about a uh, three hundred dollar. Um, it was three hundred. Yeah, it looks like it got a little bit of discount over on Amazon at least. So, um, but no, yeah. So nine nine hundred degrees. Do you know what? I mean? What? Yeah, it's like uh, you can turn the wheel a couple times. Like, do you have the stick shift add on? No, I use the paddle shifters. Mm. I didn't want to pay the extra seventy for a stick shift. Mm-hmm. 70 bucks for a stick shift yeah that's what it said i mean it's already a 300 dollar thing so um that's currently going for uh 267 over on the uh amazon right now though so and if you got if logitech is less than great product um mm-hmm. send me more i don't know for free <laughs> always looking to get for the sponsors always mikey what's your awesome thing of the week i i honestly have about three is okay the pro- it's the problem but i Something neat. I've uh, been opening Shining Fates Pokemon cards recently. Shining Fates? Yeah, I had a, an excess in my bin, and I started ripping and wrapping and going for them Charizards. So you're you're an old school card player, huh? Mm, not necessarily the player. I like doing the sets, Mike. I like going through the binder, getting all the cards. You know, bit of a collector. A collector. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what's so special about these cards. What's I mean? Well, the, it's I, the, the, for someone, I've never played Pokemon cards so before. What, what what's listen, I, I'm not much of a player. I'm a collector, and I mm-hmm. like getting the valuable cards. And they got a nice sought after Charizard V Max in there. I did pull one, but you can always have more, right? One, they're worth about probably about a hundred, hundred ten bucks right now. Um, mm-hmm. I like the thrill. I like the ripping, the the, the ripping chase, and the tearing, the ripping and the tearing. So, what else you got? Um, yeah, I mean, that's, again, that's just one thing that just been awesome this week. The second, have you, Dave, please, I, have you ever seen the movie Surf's Up, Dave? Oh, jeez. Uh, the penguin one, right? The penguin one mm-hmm. where they surf. Yes. Um, yes. I think it should be noted. Uh, it is a cinematic masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Um, tell us why. So. Tell me why. <laughs> it was released in 2007 and it follows a young penguin named Cody Maverick. Um, Cody has a dream to be a surfer and his mother and family are not about it, but it takes him through a journey. Just please check it out. Mike Sorg, you have any feedback for me? About uh, it? I know that you really kept talking about it while we were recording the last show. I appreciated that bit. Um, but, <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I can't say that I've ever seen it. Can I have a follow-up question for Mike Incognito? Yes. Uh, what got you so hyped on the service up all of a sudden again? Well, <laughs> did it come up on Pluto TV or something <laughs> that you uh, had well, to? Uh, for me, it's a <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Um, Surf's up is a lifestyle. There's a couple quotes and scenes in that movies that move. They'll move you. Uh, Scott Schultz, you might actually remember the one. It's very. We're gonna actually say it on the podcast here. I'm sorry, on the uh, the show next month. It'll probably be our quote of the month. Oh, we should save it. Okay, we'll save it. It's okay. I don't think there's a lot of cross pollination here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's practice. Practice. Can we? <laughs> there. That's actually we actually interviewed Cody Maverick not too long ago. The uh, Cody had a big win um, on the uh, on the waves. Had a big waves. And Scott, you know what his motto is in a saying? It is. It is. When can I be me, man? When can I be me, man? And uh, I think that applies to all of us. You know, just be yourself. You know. Right. Take it one step at a time. Enjoy a piece of pizza. Go for a walk. Speaking of pizza, <laughs> speaking of pizza, uh, you got our sponsor, Slice, Slice on, on Broadway. Broadway. I was gonna just let Let's you do it, it since you let, you segued into it. Hey, Slice on Broadway, um, thanks for the pizza. Thanks for sponsoring you guys. I don't want to say are the best because it's too true that it just seems unfair for everyone else. It does, and I'd like and to say wait, something. I also want to say something. Go ahead, go ahead, please. About all the other pizza people, like Pizza Hut. They say no one out pizzas the hut. Well, challenge accepted by Slice on Broadway. I dare Pizza Hut to out pizza mm. them. They they can't. They they, they they'll try but they'll Scott, fail. They'll fail. And can I I'd actually like to say something for say Slice it, today. Slice um this is kind of just me me to you. Um I walked into uh the studio today a little down, a little out. 
Um, but I got a phone call from Mike Sorg telling me to bring some crushed red pepper because he's got a pizza here waiting for me. Well, what kind of pizza was that? It was a pepperoni pizza from Slice on Broadway, and I am rejuvenated. I am excited all because of your product, and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I feel like if pizza was the fountain of youth, it'd be a Slice on Broadway pizza. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would agree with that statement, Scott. You are a, a man of intellectual being over there. And you are as well, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, they just did the ad for me. Slice on Broadway, New York City style. And user made five locations in uh, the Pittsburgh area. Slice on Broadway. You can, build, you can send the invoice to our There you email. go. Well, that's practice. You keep saying you want sponsors on your show. And now you <laughs> yes. got practice at, 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 you can do it, an eloquent uh, 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 you know, just a nice, you, you know. And I both know that's going to get cut out, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to get cut out. We're live, not, pal. Not out of here. We're live, pal. We it's out there. When we do a commercial on our TV show, it's getting we, cut. Mike, <laughs> I actually had one more awesome thing You need thing to of actually the week. have a signed off sponsor to do it, though. No, we're getting Red Bull. We're getting Red Bull. Red Bull's out there. Right? Red Bull's been at a competition. I don't mm. think on, I don't think they were invited, though. <laughs> So oh, those are I'm my people, sure. Red Bull. Oh, yeah. If anybody, know, if anybody knows anybody at Red Bull, tell them to hit me up. They oh, are my boy. people. Actually, I, we do have. Oh my gosh. I, one of the one of the wrestlers works with Red Bull. So hey, what's like maybe name? maybe I'm not gonna say it on the air. Okay. Like I have one I'm more thing I need to get well, out. I need to get, I need to get out. All right, Mikey, what do you got? This is the third one. It's something that this is your third awesome thing. Yeah, it actually, I was blown away. Do you know who voices Stuart Little? No. Michael J. Fox is the really? voice of Stuart Oh, Little. I think I knew that. And that, I mean, I asked and I didn't hear an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Oh, I, that's, that sounds familiar. It's been a I while. Know. I, I think, just thought it was I incredible. I think I saw Stuart Little in the theater when we couldn't go to another movie, yeah. <laughs> actually. No, Mouse Hunt was the one. <laughs> Stuart Little, though. It's another film that, uh, a lot of things happen in that film you that a lot of people don't remember. Films. Huh? You love little kid films. <laughs> I love Stuart old, Little. Old, old surfs <laughs> up. But, uh, I Are just you thought a fan of Lyle 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 Cat Crocodile? I've never seen it. It just came out. It's good. Oh. I hear good things. Okay. Also, my cousin worked on it, so, yes. Whoa. Yes. What's your cousin's name? Uh, I'm Luke not going to give him a shout out, <laughs> but. Luke Kling Klingensmith. He does audio, like mastering and stuff. So. That's sweet, dude. So, he's on that. And what was the other one? Can um, he get us on a movie? What was the, I don't think that's how that works. Uh, what was the, the, the one, uh, Spirited? The one with uh, Will Ferrell and, um, yeah, and Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, he's on that. So Really? Yeah, yeah so we, we sit there and look for his credits. That's so, sweet. You know, that's, that's cool. So. He's a Hollywood elite. Yes. Good for you, man. Um, oh, but he lives yeah. in New York, so, you know. Is he listening? I Probably not. Probably not. Do you know? Any I, questions? I, I hope he doesn't because I, I feel like I feel like he would be embarrassed by my, my audio. <laughs> any, uh, uh, hey, any, we all. any questions uh, Because he chat, works on right? that high-end stuff. Um, no, just, just, just my mother uh, oh. hanging out and, and telling us spirited. Uh, but <laughs> any questions? <laughs> I'm happy to help answer. Uh, Mom or anybody else in the, in the chat room, if you have any questions for our guests here, the esteemed uh, uh, host of the Action News program like that we work on. superstar. <laughs> I actually was recruited uh, not too long ago. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, I actually have a friend who <laughs> yeah. uh, who wanted to go pro. What happened? Oh, uh, he didn't put in the work. <laughs> yeah. So it's about. <laughs> <laughs> I got a story here. How about uh, Carnegie Mellon is working on an autonomous Zamboni? And the story went away. No, it's loading. There's no. ads. There's uh, lots of ads. I have a question. Yes. Already. Okay. What about the Zamboni drivers? Mm. What about them? What? <laughs> Do we not talk about the jobs that are? Are we worried about the Zamboni good point. driver? Yeah, um, I think a lot also, of them are probably they get their benefits, they pay their also, mortgage through this. Also, who who needs a, an autonomous Zamboni? It's mm. one rank. It's not going to go faster. It's not. Well, they gonna, actually it's use two uh, NHL. They actually have two at the same time okay. going. So, uh, is there, Mike, would you happen to know where Dave, uh, of course, either you might know a little more than Scott and I about this. Is there a big shortage on Zamboni drivers? Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing that, but, um, but, but apparently, go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't think it's so much about the Zamboni drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, this is similar to, um, a lot of the push for autonomous, um, long haul uh, uh, trucking, mm. uh, oh. where you have a lead vehicle, which is crew, which is, um, part where there's a person in the lead truck. Mm -hmm. But there could be another truck behind it, which is autonomously following it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's like that Simpsons. Because episode. we definitely do have, we definitely do have a shortage of truckers in this country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you could say, well, 
after you leave, let's say if you're tra you're trucking something Pittsburgh to Chicago, after you leave Pittsburgh, you can go and just have one truck follow another. Mm -hmm. That way, especially on the turnpike where you don't have on ramps, off ramps, cross traffic, and everything else you have to deal with. And this is a nice controlled way of saying, okay, we need to take existing vehicles and retrofit it in there. And this is a nice controlled environment. And in the story, they talk about how the idea is that they're just offset. Uh, so you have one vehicle following the other, and the other vehicle does, does have a person in it as a just-in-case. Mm -hmm. um, we all saw that scene from um, um, Austin Little. Powers. No, Austin Powers, oh. where he runs over someone with Zamboni. No, no, you're right. That, that Deadpool. Sorry, Deadpool. <laughs> there was a similar one in Austin Powers, but it was a Deadpool scene where he actually crushes someone with the Zamboni. Yes, yes. Um, well, he's about to, yes. He's like, I'll kill yeah, you. Yeah, in we actually don't see five or ten it, minutes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, no, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, like you said, the, the, it's, it's a very controlled environment. This is actually a capstone project for some students in the university. Um, it says, uh, according to this article on triplive.com, uh, it's already gotten some ice time up at the uh, Lemieux facility up in uh, Cranberry. Um, so, oh, what is that called up there? Sorry, I just uh, had it. it it's, it's, Lemieux, it's the... It's uh, the practice Lemieux. rink that they use. Yeah, it's the practice rink. It's yeah. the Lemieux it Health... Landmark? Yes, the UPMC... UPMC Lemieux yeah, Sports UPMC Complex. Yeah, UPMC Health Sports... Yeah. They are intending to um, demonstrate this, though, once they work out a couple of kinks in it um, at a home game for the Penguins in the future. So, and again, like it, like you, like you were saying, this this is this looks like it's a capstone project. It's a nice controlled environment for them to get to the next state of working on autonomous cars, you know, on working on the trucks, you know, and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, this is actually kind of linked in with the robotics um, um, side of things. And, uh, and and then talking a little bit more in here, one of these collaborators uh, is Locomotion, which is a Carnegie Mellon spin-out created in, in 2018, which uh, in is introducing human-guided autonomous technology. So, um, yeah. and, and like you were saying with the long-haul freight trucks and everything like that. So, um, so yeah, this is, I mean, and this goes right along with what we've talked about here about auto drive challenge and things like that. I don't think Carnegie is a participating, Carnegie Mellon is a participating team there. No, they're they're not. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 but um, but you know, but but schools like that and everything like that, and of course, Carnegie has, Carnegie Mellon has so many robotic and autonomous projects they have going on. So, um, but no, that, that's it, it's also a giant machine <laughs> that it will yeah. be operating. So, but that goes right with it because I mean, again, Zamboni machines run so slow uh, at Auto Drive Challenge, they go what five miles an hour, I think. You know, that's what you need to do when you're in that testing phase for just safety in general. So, you guys won't believe me. But I've seen a Zamboni go six miles an hour. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So a little, keep an eye out. So I've been, uh, this is getting a little, little production geeky for me, but I've been looking for uh, options, maybe cheaper options than some of the uh, high-end racks to put uh, some video equipment on. And and this isn't something I'm going to use on the road or anything like that, but I am looking for something because i got a pile of computer over here I need to put into something. Um, but... I was kind of amazed by the IKEA server rack that somebody put together here. Um, so it is over at uh, TomBuildStuff.blogspot.com. Uh, it's the DIY 20U enclosed server rack. It's a nice mm. wood grain fa finish. I'm sure it has a nice Swedish name to it. Um, but uh, but I was really kind of impressed at, at that at that situation. So woodworking plans for an open frame and closed um, thing. But you know, and there was like a lot of conversations about like purchasing Ikea furniture and converting it uh, to something like this. So I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll Ikea up the office here a little bit um, with our server racks <laughs> when we get, when we finally get those kinds of things together. So um, if there's any, I know we got a few IT people out in the crowd here, but if you've seen any uh, curious, um contraptions to put your server equipment and anything that'll actually travel because i am looking for some interesting um solutions to get get things out there so um dave i don't think you've you've uh, uh operated with any of this kind of rack system stuff have you not really no um i was a little shocked when i started to read through it because the title mm -hmm. made me think it was something at ikea Yes. Instead of something made with, because I could see, I you know, honestly, I could see IKEA selling this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because if you look at the um, putting it together, it's okay because it gives you the tools needed: drill, circular saw, binder box, 
uh, some kind of hold jig, uh, mm -hmm. you know, now the right, like the tape, the finishing tools, a lot of their stuff's kind of basic, but the circular saw that not everyone has a circular saw. I can see people having drills, you know, if you have a house, not an apartment, but is circular saw or a power miter saw for making square cut and boards. That's, but yeah, so, you know, be, I, I could see someone making it where it everything's pre-drilled and pre-cut mm -hmm. and just kind of put it together like you would a piece of Ikea furniture. Absolutely. You know, and it, of course, it, the name would have a, like uh, a Sorgorg on it with lots of O's and crossed out O's <laughs> is all Ikea furniture does. Yes, of course. Hey, guys, do you like Seinfeld, Scott, Mike? Uh, like. It's one of the first do things I like we Seinfeld? About. I'm sorry, do I like it? Yes. Like, no, Mike. I love it. Wow. Fantastic. Chills. Did you guys partake in the uh, watching when it was up the uh, fully AI generated Seinfeld on Twitch? No. No. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, well, it was an interesting experience. Uh, Riz shared it with us. I heard it talked about in a couple things. Somebody had this AI powered Jerry Seinfeld clone. Um, unfortunately, something went wrong. I think, was it a server went down or something? Um, for whatever it connected, um, but but it was like it was really kind of rudimentary dialogue. It looked like the graphics looked like it was a 1995 CD-ROM game uh, for the most part here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, something went wrong, and it went on a transphobic rant and got suspended for 14 days from uh, from Twitch. So, um, I, Dave, did you get a look at any of this before it uh, it, it dropped out here? I didn't get a look at beforehand, but I did see in the article where basically they there there was one server which does have did have content filtering on it, so it would make it appropriate for all ages and all demographics. That went down, then it went to the backup one, which really doesn't do a great job with filtering. And yeah, then it, it honestly it almost. The graphics either look CD-ROM from the, <laughs> from the mid '90s, or, or um, oh god, I'm showing my age here, but um, hmm. MTV early days. Oh, oh, the uh, Dire Straits video. Dire Straits, yes. I'm the 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 the, the 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 fake Seinfeld looked like it's something could be from mm -hmm. from that video. We got to move these refrigerators. Yeah, exactly. We got to move exactly. these color TVs. We gotta move something. That's product. Oh, product. Let's move that pizza. Mike, any any chat questions yet? Yeah, I've been waiting. <laughs> no. Hey, somebody's, all the, all somebody's the asking about zodiac signs in the chat room. Wait, actually. we have a question. Yeah, yes. what's that question? Brandy wants to know your zodiac signs. Mine is. Uh, I'm a Gemini. What are you? Come on. Sag Sagittarius. Sagittarius. It's just turned into a different kind of podcast. Um, what do we gotta give the what people is, what they want? Why, what does Brandy think of that? We'll find out. There's a little bit of the light. Um, guys, if you wanted to do an AI version of a show, what would you do? Um, I would do an AI version of... I'm not even going to... You don't even need to ask. I think I know. Is, <laughs> I, I know. I, know my I would actually take it to theater. I wouldn't do a show. I, yeah. would, I would do theater. You do, and, you uh, do AI theater? Yeah, I'd have to go with uh, Surf's Up. Um, okay. I think it'd look good. Okay. I think watching Cody Maverick and AI would be something special. I would do an AI. I would do it. I don't even know. I'm speechless now. Um, SpongeBob. Mm, that's yeah, a good one. Well, that's, that'd be creepy enough. <laughs> How about you guys in the chat? Brandy or anyone else? Sorg's mom. Sorg's mom. Dave, of course. Mike, what would you guys do? Dave, what'd you do? I'm going to fall back on Rumble. Just give them the whole, give them 30 wrestlers' names. And oh, have, that'd be we kind of get that. Sketch out Don't you already Bumble. do that in WWE 2K now? Cody Rhodes won, right, guys, if I recall? Uh, yes, he did win this one. And yes, Rhea Ripley did. won the women's one. So. And then didn't he just win the belt, too? Did I give it away? What? It's already but happened. It, it happened. Just... happened. It happened. Yeah, yes. I was going to no, say. No, we didn't win the belt yet. No, that's I a WrestleMania. He, okay, that's a WrestleMania. He already yeah. did that. He's been talking about the belt for a while. Okay. That's all he talks about. But that's about it. Dude, we get it. You're into fashion. What? No. Would you, would you guys think of that uh, <laughs> Logan Larry's Paul joke. when he like slung up and that's was a different it podcast. That's a different podcast. Okay, yep. that's a different podcast. You can get me on that one. I know I, a little bit I about that. I feel like that belt joke should have got a bigger laugh. I liked it. Thanks. 
I know the I know the listeners out there liked it too. Brandy, Sorg's mom, <laughs> the other I ones. Say Brandy does like AI theater for the window. I love I love that the we're getting chat right now. Right. I'm like I I can't mm-hmm. see it unfortunately. Is there anything else, Mike? Uh, nothing yet. No. Nothing yet. Uh, I, I mean, hold on, I'm, I'm I'm multitasking over here. So it's oh, good. Okay, no, no. I see. Brandy also uh, said that say? Gemini makes sense for Mike. Wow. Wow. What Thank am I, you. Am I an enigma? <laughs> I love uh, this. It might got, be. She hasn't mentioned anything yet. We have chat. We have the room going. Tell me the, about a Gemini. I don't know what that means. It's just, you know, I was born in May, and you get certain qualities and traits is what they say. Is right? it obnoxious? Obnoxious, annoying, <laughs> stupid. Yeah. They all fall under Hey, me. you're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am just, so we got one surf's up, one rumble, one, uh, what was Sponge yours? Bob. SpongeBob. Only one we haven't heard is from the big boss over there. Oh, I was going to go with the wrestling uh, route or something like that. Well, but, he stole your idea, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, you did. You did a little bit. You know what? Night Court. Well, Night Court AI. We'll go, we'll go back to the Patreon. Because <laughs> yeah, I see, the, like, like, like ChatGPT knew a lot about Night Court, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I think, and it's pretty. It's a pretty formula thing, you know. Um, you know, cases, um, side story that has nothing to do with the courtroom. You know, just go from there. Uh, maybe an magic tricks out of the court love romance. Ma- well, you know, wow, that's actually the episode that I watched today. Oh. So on the new one, so I was actually. Did a you writer. know there's a new co- Night Court? I was a writer on it. No, you what? <laughs> I wrote an episode of Night Court. Yeah. Okay. On NBC. Do do do. Is that what the sound of the theme goes? Yeah, they're Peacock. The mm-hmm. Peacock. NBC. Uh, we call that something else on the other show. Anyways, back to it. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, uh, Scott and Dave, you you guys live in teams, don't you? I'm here too, Mike. <laughs> yes, but this applies to them. Yeah. He, uh, we're all a team, I think. No, yeah. no, Microsoft yep. Teams. Yeah. Yes, we are. I also okay. We are email. stuck in teams. Well, uh, and actually, this is this is this is a story because I think they just rolled out the chat. No, the, I guess it was. Did, did they just roll out somebody chat, chat GPT today that I missed? I just saw like a yeah, a it was tweet on uh, it. an edge. It was an edge and Ooh. Bing. Bing so has Chat to, GPT now. Yes, Bing. yes, and and they're trying to make it where an edge. Where the idea is when you do a search, you have your regular search results, mm-hmm. and then on on the other side, and it's not still being rolled out in little, little spaces. Uh, you'll have your Chat GB, uh, G, blah, blah. GPT. <clears throat> Thank you, Chat thing. Uh, as a conversational answer. Chat thingamajigger on the side. Exactly. Because it's not the, the chat that we can get a hold of. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a special duper duper that Microsoft, since they gave them tons of money, they have extra back end access. Yeah, that is important. Uh, uh, so Microsoft has been a backer of the uh, AI technology behind ChatGPT, all the server technology that we, I mean, we talked about this. This costs them about $3 million a day to run this kind of stuff for us to make our funny little stories that we do here for our Patreon and everything like that, right? So that's going to be mm-hmm. built in there. Um, there's other sur- There's other chats. I, it's like, not Siva. There, there was something... Um, that I know they've been talking about on Twitter. That's like you can subscribe to it, and it has like a Chat GPT kind of built in. Uh, it's like it's its own Google, but you pay monthly for it, like six bucks a month. Was kind of interesting. Well, that just got Sherlocked with Bing building this in probably. Um, is this rolled out now or is it uh, coming? It's rolling. It's, it's a, rolling. It looks like it's rolling. Yeah. All right. Can yeah, we so do $7 I seven dollars per month per user? So I got to pay seven dollars to use Chat GPT in Bing. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, right. Speaking of chat. Well, no, no, in in teams. In, in teams. teams. Oh, wait, wait, but but the, but the Bing is going to be just part of Bing. Yeah, it's just going to be part of Bing because, admittedly, how else are you going to come after Google mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as search? Google, you know, eight. literally, there's no. You can't just out Google Google. They're too large. They got too much of a. Can't out Pizza the Hut either. Well, well yeah, one exa- person exactly. Can slice the. But yeah, yeah. Well, I'm true. Right. So wait, they, I'm, I just want to make sure I'm understanding this. Sorry to cut you. You have to pay seven yeah, no, a no. month just to use it. Well, to use it in Teams. So uh, this is part of the those. team. So this part of the. So there's just two things. Bing is going to have this integrated okay. as well, mm-hmm. and then Teams, Microsoft Teams, which is like part of the whole Microsoft Office mm-hmm. kind of situation, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it, those are unfamiliar. It's like uh, I was going to say it's like Skype, but they also have Skype in there, don't they? So are they at least? Is there a yearly bundle deal? Maybe. Well, yeah, well it's one of those things a corporation is going to pay for, right? Mm-hmm. So right. like yeah. like you know. Hey, so, not out of my pocket, huh? 
That's right. <laughs> it's something, and even you know, if I wasn't already integrated in Slack, you know, in this space like mm. Slack, it's, it's this kind of works workspace hey, chat situation mm-hmm. um, that that you can work into. But yeah, so this is going to be like kind of sidebar. So the, the the cool thing I saw from this for the for the Teams one was uh, when you're in a meeting or you're not in a meeting and uh, or you're not paying attention to the meeting. Let's be honest here. Scott. Let's be. Uh, that, 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 that never uh, happens. Uh, that never when happens. When Scott no. hypothetically I'm always is is just um has a picture of himself that looks like he's blinking, but he's really taking a nap in the mm, background you guys potentially. Have no idea how hard I work. <laughs> 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 that was the bigger laugh than the belt joke. <laughs> um, but but what the, what it'll do is because it's already transcribing because most of these are going to transcribe now, right? I think mm-hmm. Zoom we can turn on transcription perhaps, or maybe that's a higher end feature. Um, and it will make uh, with the AI technology they have with ChatGPT and whatever that back end stuff is, they will give you notes and highlights from that meeting afterwards. So you're saying I won't need to pay attention as hard as I pay attention now. This will enhance how much you're already paying attention, Scott. Okay, I think thanks. it's the way to think about it to your boss. A simple uh, yes, yes would have done yes, well there, Mike. Yeah, yes. thank, <laughs> you, thank you, other Mike. Yes. Mike Incognito. <laughs> um, but, I mean, you know, the, so, the, I mean, that seemed like a pretty cool feature. Accuracy, who knows where it's going to be. Um, so, live translated captions will be available for a 60-day grace period for existing Teams users uh, with a virtual appointment feature. So, um, so again, just kind of, and I think that's where this is going to come in handy is this kind of enhancement of things that we're already using like this, right? It's right. kind of like the sidebar. It's clippy. Mm, it's I potentially like clippy. Is it an AI mm-hmm. clippy? Hey, I see you're doing such oh. and such. Right. Chatting with each other, right? Be nice. You know, we're chat. talking about all this chatting. What about our chat? What about this? Live <laughs> is there chat? more in our chat? If there's more in the chat, I'm there gonna... is a question. <gasps> if you, Michael, if you were, if, we, if you. <laughs> What is it? What if is you were a Seinfeld character, who would you Elaine. all be? Elaine. <laughs> I love that for you. I'm Elaine. I love that My for little you. side adventures. I would say maybe, maybe I would have to be George, right? Oh. I'm a George. It'd be weird if you weren't George. Yeah. How about you guys over there? Definitely in Kramer. Oh, okay. yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Dave, are you the star? Oh, Jerry, there <laughs> are he is. You Jerry. That's Jerry. Hit us with a joke. Hit us with a good Jerry okay. impression. Oh, well, can't. you know what? I never watched Seinfeld. Whoa! Hey, I'm, I'm Dave, like one of the two or three people in the world, but yeah, <laughs> I never, I never got into it. That or okay. Friends or anything. Wow. Else. You're just missing yeah. the hit sitcoms of the '90s. I, I did, yeah. All right, there was a question. Who? Wh- any thoughts on the new Harry Potter? I will not be supporting Harry Potter properties. No, that's my that's my position. Wait, what yeah. happened? I wasn't listening. What was the question? <laughs> Uh, what were your thoughts on the new Harry Potter video game? <laughs> I didn't even know there was. Yeah, that's, I want to be a wizard. It's rolling out here, I think, in a few you days. Guys, speaking of wizards, do you ever hear of the rap group The Wizards? What? The Wizards. Uh, do yourselves a favor. <laughs> okay. Look up the, the Wizards. Uh, I believe they're on all your music mm-hmm. uh, things. Uh, they have one album, Purple Magic, I believe is the title of it. And uh, it's just really good. I think my favorite song is Straight Out of Mordor. Uh, they hit all the right notes, but I'd say check it out. Do yourselves a favor. Um, here's one to cap us off for the day. <laughs> the Ant Man book is real. You guys, have you guys seen the trailers for Ant Man Wasp uh, Quantum Mania? Yeah, it looks wild. And, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, at the beginning where uh, he's had a book that he's uh, he has a book that he's uh, reading. Re- yeah, well, no, that he's he's put out about his adventures with the Avengers and everything like mm. that. He's yeah, an it's real. Author. He's an author. It's real, real, and they're actually selling it on Kindle and hardcover over on Amazon right now. Hit me with the numbers. It's Scott Lang. Looking? Scott Lang, look out for the little guy. Oh, the story of Ant Man. How much does it say? Oh, Thirteen dollars. Thirteen ninety nine on Kindle. I I get Sork, it, hit, 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 read more. Hit, hit read, read more. more on the blurb. Oh, where's the re- read? And the more. last one. Uh, the paragraph. See there. that giant paragraph. Oh, Mike? read more. Mm. Last paragraph. Yeah, Let's and see. the la- and the last line. Last line, to look out for the little guy introduces the man behind the hero and the hero I call friend, Bruce Banner, fellow adventurer. Mm, that's a... <laughs> Fantastic. Do you know what I love most about Ant-Man? What? His first name. Ant? No, Scott. Is it actually? I actually have never Scott. seen the movies, guys. I'm not going to sit here and lie We just said his name. 
Well, it's, if I had that new uh, system, I wouldn't have to pay attention as right. much. And I would have it all automated in front of me. Mm-hmm. What was it? My, the, uh, oh, by the, the Microsoft Teams Premium. Chat, exactly. Yeah. And this is yeah. why we're here to sponsor that Microsoft Teams chat. Because for people like me, people like Scott, Listen, who aren't man. always on the ball. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not I a, am. I am. No, he's I not. Am. He's lying to you. He's He is. I've known him for years. God, you're but, so relaxed over there. Me? Me? I feel <laughs> yes. The couch is very relaxing. Who, who the couch good. is very relaxing. I feel good. And obviously the people at home in the chat are loving right. it. Speaking of chat, Speaking what do we got? <laughs> Nothing new. Nothing new okay. since Harry Potter. Nope. But uh, Ant Man, uh, Scott Lang, right? Yeah. yeah. Look I out for now. the little guy. I know now. You know something about that. What are you? Four or five? How tall are you? <laughs> Thanks for getting. I'm four four. <laughs> four four. Okay. Oh, are we talking about my height as a human? Hey, hey, cut. <laughs> I'm five. Cut. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm five nine, Scott. Jeez. Well, guys. <laughs> People want to, again, the news is not necessarily for our audience, but uh, where can people check out what you guys are doing? Who, us? Yes, you. Uh, you can see me at Dairy Queen down the street. <laughs> sure. You mentioned this podcast, I'll get you a free uh, Blizzard. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Mm-hmm. And if you say s- Blizzard and Wizard, I try to f- come up with a joke there, but mm-hmm. I couldn't. But listen to the Wizards album. <laughs> what? <laughs> Purple you're gonna Magic. Have to, you're going to have to link me that or something, so... You Mike, can, where are you? Where can you be found? I can actually be found at Mattress Firm. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a mattress, actually contact me. Let me know. I swear he this is not me a every drill. Every month, if I need a mattress, not a joke. I can get you a good deal. Get you sleeping <laughs> well, feeling well. Um, that's where I can hey, be found. Or oh, hey, you hey, can. If you want to see him in action at the Mattress Firm, uh-huh. uh, check out the uh, the cold open to the January yes, edition yes. of the show. You can also so, also find, read his reviews. Read my reviews. Uh, you know you can how also, good he is. You can also find uh, myself and Scott at Sorgatron, Studios. right? Studio uh, every Media. month where we will be filming SAE videos for you we, students to learn, live, and laugh and love. Are, those losers, are, those you, are, those you, losers. are you trying to get this in front of a live audience? Is that what's happening? Uh, more than anything, I would love to go live for anything. Obviously, we thrive live. Mm-hmm. Do you? Now, I yeah. would, can if we get some chat comments, did you like us today, Scott and I? Right. Or should Do we you get want us back? Do you back? want us back? Well, and th- should we be paid more for our return? Exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll ask my mother if you should be back. <laughs> Your mom for sure is in. 100%. <laughs> I know right now your mom's listening to the Wizards album. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sure that's her, her bag there. 100%. Um, so thank you. Dave Podner, iPhoneography Podcast, Prof Pod on the social medias. Thanks for I having me on. So again. Media, it, sounds, it sounds like uh, Microsoft's trying to take my uh, clipping job almost. Your clipping job? Yeah, yeah. We have, where, 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 are, we, where are we going to plug the uh, plug the podcast in and just generate all some clips? Yeah. Who's going to look out exactly. for the little guy, you know? Scott Lang. Thank you, Mike. Oh, man. This is going over their heads. It's, nice. I know. And I just, Scott, you and me got that flow, got that chemistry. And Dave, I will let, I will go to court before I let them take your job. Night court. Night court. Back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Can we leave with a fun question? Does anyone have a fun question? A fun question? I have a fun question. Yeah. Ah, I lost it. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anybody, Mike, Dave, Scott, <gasps> my anybody. Mom at, my call? mom asked if this is comedy hour. Uh, <laughs> you know it is. Yeah. Well, what was your favorite joke of the night? <laughs> Mine was the belt one. It got underappreciated, but I thought it was really good. They're I mean, laughing out on the internet. They good. better be. Here you go. I think Slice on Broadway deserves one more shout out. Oh, sure, go for I'm it. You sure. guys got the partake. Let's uh, we're gonna let's try and uh, kind of wing something real quick. Let's yeah, pretend like we're doing this. This is all scripted. This is what. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do in the uh, on our show. You ready? So I'm right. gonna start, and Scott will just kind of chime in. Let's go to improv, baby. Here we go. Ugh, I'm just so hungry. Oh. Scott, any ideas? Uh, I mean, we could do pizza. Here's the thing. I've been all around Pittsburgh, tried almost every place, really? can't find a good one. Did you try Slice on Broadway? Where? Slice on Broadway, bro. What is it good? Is it good? They're the only place that out pizzas the hut. You're kidding. You're telling me there's a place in Pittsburgh that out pizzas the hut. Yeah. How much is it? Give me. Do they have deals? That's all they have are deals. If you tell me they got coupons and they send them in the mail, I'll lose it. Um, Actually, they do. Yeah, for sure they do. Are you kidding me? No, nah, man. <laughs> well, let's pick up the phone and get some slice and nah, heal <laughs> your pizza cravings. And scene. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. This is you have been our awesome audience.
Have an awesome you week. Guys have been awesome. <laughs>